we have more tuna for everyone. Look, oh, big boy, get the sides reference with me. Hey, 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 don't fight over the food. Longer piece. Oh, right down the hatch. We're gonna let these girls out in three, yeah. two, let's go, tiger kids. Hey. What's up, guys? Welcome yeah. back to the channel. Look at all of this tuna. This was fresh tuna that we ate down in Costa Rica. We caught it ourselves, which is really cool. I'm a big fisherman, if you guys didn't know. These tigers are talking behind me. What are you saying? Sarah, Bindi, and Tsukino, the big tigers over here, are gonna get a treat with some tuna today. But first, we gotta put them in their lockouts so we can put this pile of tuna in there. We're also gonna feed a bunch of other cats here at the zoo. This tuna has spoiled a little bit for human consumption, so we can't eat it. So that's why we're giving it to these cats and all the animals here at CWF that can eat meat and are gonna enjoy this. With that being said, guys, these tigers are waiting. They're hungry. They're making noises like, feed me, I'm starving. Let's go in the cage, put this tuna in there, and see just how much they like it. Come on, big girls. Come on, Sarah. Come on, Sarah. Let's go. Come on, big girls. Let's go. We got two out of three. Let's go. Shift them in here. Come on, come on. Sarah's coming down. Come on, girls. All right, we've got our tuna here. You've got the girls back there. Cage is open. Come on in. We're gonna make this quick because we have a lot of cats to feed today. So, going over here. We're gonna put a little bit of tuna here on this rock. Got a big old slab right there. Really nice piece right here. That'll be for one girl. We'll get another big chunk. Look at that beautiful tuna. Now, the tuna did go a little bit bad on the way home because of a plane ride holdup. So it's not good for human consumption, but these cats will love it and it's totally fine for them. So that means the tuna doesn't go to waste, the cats get a little treat, and everybody's happy. You guys get to enjoy them eating it today. So we're gonna put it on the edge here. Hopefully they step right up there. We'll throw another big chunk. Uh, that'll be for Boshkar. Big chunk like this right over there. Let's get the girls right now and see how they like it. We've got it unlocked. We've got to pull up the pin. We're gonna let these girls out in three, two, let's go, tiger kids. Oh, she's smelling it. Sarah, come on. Sarah, come on, girl. Oh, they're going out. They're gonna smell that and pick up that scent real quick. Let's see what they do. Sukino over here is checking it out. Oh, Bindi's, Bindi's looking over there. She smells it. She's got herself that little piece there. Sarah's checking it out. Sarah, what do we got down here? Come on, let's go. Follow the finger. Sukino's enjoying a piece right there. Sarah, come on. Come on, pretty girl. You're a big girl. We got some big pieces of tuna for you. Oh, she's, she's going in for it. Uh, what do you think of that? What do you think of that, big girl? She's enjoying that big filet mignon sized piece of tuna. My hands are all dirty, don't mind that. As I said before, Sarah is a golden tabby tiger. Take the chance to talk about her a little bit. You can see that beautiful strawberry blonde color on her, those really nice pearly white colors on the bottom. Just an amazing color variation of the tiger. Now you can find all of these color variations in the wild, but the most common is the Bengal tiger, which looks like this. Now this is what you guys know commonly, and we have a tiger that looks like that. It's actually a Thai Liger, and she's in the back. I think we're gonna head there next. Sarah seems to enjoy her meal. Did you enjoy that tuna? Did you enjoy that tuna, big girl? Oh, somebody's a big, big, pretty, big, big, pretty tiger girl. I love these girls so much. They seem to really enjoy that. Let's head over here. Suki, Bindi, did you like that big girl? Did you like that big girl? Hi. <laughs> Out of all these cats, Bindi is the hunter. You saw when we put fish in here in another episode previously, don't pee on me, don't pee on me. In the video where we put live fish in here, we put live fish in the pond, Bindi was the first one to grab one. She's definitely the hunter. This is Sarah though, Bindi's over there. With that being said guys, 
These girls got a little treat. That's some great enrichment for them. Are you smelling my elbow? What does it smell like? What does that smell like? Can you tell me what that smells like? Oh. That chuffing noise is a tiger. It's the way tigers talk. Oh, I'm Shuki and I'm gonna put my butt right next to you. It's all out of love. It's just a little pee. Let's head over to the next enclosure. We're here at the next enclosure and you can see I have this big stick. We're gonna stick this on like a big marshmallow and we're feeding our next big cats. Come on. Oh yeah, Amber's opening up. Amber says, I like big chunks of tuna and I cannot lie. Oh, I was trying to give some to Onyx too. These are our jaguars. Look at the claws. Look at those claws there. Look how big those claws are. You can get in here just like this. Just like that. Big sweet girl. This is Amber, guys. She is our jaguar girl. And Onyx, the black jaguar boy. Beautiful cats. Some of my favorite just because of their unique markings on them. From the Amazon where we've spent a lot of time I actually found a jaguar paw down in the Amazon that somebody had cut off due to poaching. These guys are losing numbers. Every, every cat around the world is really losing numbers. Every animal de due to deforestation, poaching, and natural causes. Hey, there's no need to fight. We have more tuna. Now these guys are some of my favorite cats because the power in their jaws is unmatched. Pound for pound, these guys have the strongest bite. They're able to take down caiman in the Amazon. If you've seen on some of the documentaries that they have, these earth documentaries, just the craziest hunters out of all the big cats, these guys are killers. You see they want more. Hey, 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 I told you, there's no reason to fight. They're only getting a little fussy over some food, so let's get them some more. Oh yeah, here you go, Amber, sweet girl. Get on that tuna there. Onyx, hey, let Onyx get some. Hold on, we're gonna need to put some over here. Oh, we got a jumper. We got a jumper, she's all the way up on the fence now. All the way up on the fence now. Here, Onyx, here, come down here. And she comes down with these. She doesn't want Onyx to get any. She's gonna fight him for it. Amber, you can't be so stingy. Can you get Onyx a piece, please? Onyx, there you go. Onyx, there you go. Oh, he says she's gonna beat me up if I take that. Onyx is a sweet boy. But guys, these cats are done, so let's head over to the next enclosure. We got a big lion girl here, and this one I can feed by hand. I'm thinking in the next video, guys, of feeding these girls. Hey, you got, slow down, slow down. She really likes that. She's freaking out saying, that's so good. That's the best thing I ever had. It's so stinky. It's so smelly. How do I get more of that? Oh my gosh, she's shaking. She's shaking. She likes it so much. Calm down, sweet girl. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. That's a big piece there. I'm thinking in the next video, guys, of making sushi rolls for them. So comment down below if you want to see me making some sushi rolls for these big cats. Here you go. Here you go. We got two beautiful white lion girls here. This one's just lapping it all up. Look at those claws again. You don't, hey, 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 don't fight over the food. Don't fight it, there's enough for everybody. Oh yeah, up all the way up. Look at the size. Look at the size of these girls. Oh, lost the tuna there. She's all the way up on the fence. Oh my goodness. I've never seen them do that before. They really like this fish, but it's weird because I don't really think Kunto likes it. He's staying over there, he clearly smells it. If these girls can smell it, he can too. And he's just letting them eat it. So I think with that being said, these girls are done. Let's see our next big cats. Look at this guys. We have Zulu over here, our big male lion. Now you can see he has a lot darker colors than Kunto over there. Now. Let's see if he likes this. Let's see if he likes this. Oh, oh, we're going crazy. We're going crazy for it. Look at that. I gotta watch my back that I don't get too close because these are still wild animals. And when food comes around, they turn into a whole new animal. See that? They get a little food possessive. In the wild, the males would eat first. 
So he's saying, it's my turn to eat. When I'm full, you guys can eat. Although the females typically do the hunting, so they'll do all the hunting and hard work. He sits back and he still gets to eat first, and typically the males eat more as well. Let's get another big piece for him. Here you go, big boy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a big pretty lion boy. He is one of the most beautiful male lions we have here at Zoological Wildlife Foundation here in Miami. If you guys want to visit him and see him up close and personal just like this, you can see him from just about... Hey, calm down there, boy. You can see him from just about this far away. Let's try to get some food to the other cats here. Get some more tuna. We have more tuna for everyone. Look. Oh, big boy. Get sides reference with me. Oh, he loves that. He loves that. This is going to be the thumbnail, I think. Zulu is absolutely loving this. Come in close here. Like I said in the next video, I do want to try giving them some sushi rolls because I think that's really cool. I love making sushi for myself. So we'll see how they like that. Zulu, is that good stuff? He's caught my fingers there a couple times with those licks and those hooks on the back of his tongue. Do not mess around. A couple of those and it'll rip your skin right apart. That's what it's meant to do. That's how they eat through the flesh in the wild. He is going crazy. All right, we don't want to give you too much. That's enough. That is enough. That's enough. Well, I want to try to give some to the other cats over here. Walk down this way. Now, you can see the other cats are scared. They're scared of him because he's already told them it's my turn to eat until I'm full, then you can eat. So I don't think we're gonna be able to feed these girls. I'm sorry girls, we're not gonna be able to feed you yet. I would have to put him away, it'd be a whole thing. We'll come back later and do that when we feed them tonight, which is their normal feeding time. If you guys have not checked out our regular feeding video, check it out because it is crazy. All right, I give you one more bite because you're being so good and I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. What do you say to the microphone? Can you sing for us? Oh, I'm a big lion. Oh yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Sing for me. Oh, super cool guys. Hey, I didn't have the microphone on you. The microphone is on me. It's my turn to talk. Hey, let's go to the next enclosure. So we're here now, we're on the phone. The camera died, that's why it looks a little different. And Jamal here wants himself some tuna. I tried giving a little bit already to Layla. She didn't really want it. Now these are our panthers. I would say Florida panthers, but there's no true Florida panthers anymore really because they were introduced. They introduced some panthers from other areas. So they're all kind of mixed together now. Jamal really likes it, but Layla isn't too fond of it. It's so funny how they're so picky. In the wild, they'd be a little less picky, being opportunistic, finding anything they could eat as any big cat would. Any animal in the wild has to be opportunistic or else it's survival of the fittest and you probably won't make it if you're just being picky and you want to eat only chicken. If you want to eat only chicken in the wild, it's going to be very hard for you. But over here, we have somebody who's not picky. You can hear Max is very hungry and he says, why, why do you have all that tuna and you're not giving it to me, you're giving it to him. Hey, let's be easy here. Max is our young lion boy. And I've got to be careful feeding him because he's a little bit more feisty. You can see those hooks are out and he's a little more possessive of this food here. You're okay. You're okay. Take that chunk there. Oh, 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 oh. Easy boy. He's a little more feisty. That's all it is. Some people get a little hangry when they eat as well. This is a better piece here. Longer piece. Oh, right down the hatch. Do you like that tuna? It seems like these lions love their tuna. And this is what it's all about, guys. Giving them a little treat that they're going to remember for the rest of the week, saying, man, that was some good stuff. That was some good sushi over here. We have one last piece here for Max. Max, it's just going right into the hatch. It's going right down the hatch, Max. Look at that. Killer claws. The teeth are one thing to worry about, but those claws mean business let's see if we could feed some of the other ones if he's going to be nice enough to let us feed some of the other big cats in his pride lastly guys we have zeus here the biggest cat at our zoo he is a liger you can see that striped coloring on him 
He looks a little different than a normal lion. That's because, hey, hey, hey. That's because he is half tiger. They're really getting possessive over this tuna. They must like that bloody taste. I got flies all over me. Here you go, big boy. Now, Zeus is typically a gentle giant. You got a little scuffle back there. Zeus is typically a gentle giant. But with this tuna, I think he's getting a little possessive. Ligers actually did occur in the wild, but now tigers and lions don't really cross paths as much as they used to. It's all right, we got tuna for everyone. Look how big he is. Big boy Zeus. I have a lot of really cool videos with him. Again, we have all sorts of videos here at CWF. Check them out. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and check out some of those other videos like I'm saying. Like the video if you did enjoy it. And Zeus and I, We'll see you in the next adventure where we will be feeding these cats some sushi rolls. You like sushi? Lick my hand if you like sushi. Oh yeah, he likes sushi, all right. Thank you guys, peace out.